Grip socks are great, but why pay up to $40 for a single pair when you can pay a lot less? Stop wasting money and get yours for just $14.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. Welcome to the top five football boots you should not buy 2021 edition. And I want to be clear in saying that I almost didn't make this video because all the brands have really stepped up their games as far as high end and even takedown models within the last year or so where more often than not, what you're buying is likely to be at least half decent. With that said, there are certain models that still stand out as not so great. And this is not me saying that these are football boots that are gonna make you play poorly. Ultimately, it's the player, not the boots. But that's not to say that there aren't certain options that are better than others. And the reason why I wouldn't buy these boots per se is because I think you have better options for the same amount of money or less, which of course I'll talk about in the video. So if you're on the market for some new boots, hopefully the info in this video will help you out. And speaking of new boots, if you're looking for a great deal, you can check out the new releases page on my website, which will be the first link down below, where you can find all of the latest football boots with the exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get them below their normal retail prices. Also, if you guys do end up enjoying the video and want to see more top five, or I guess in this case, bottom five videos on the channel, don't forget to support this one with a like. And I've also noticed that a lot of you guys who watch my content aren't actually subscribed to the channel. If that's you, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. Now the Adidas Copa Sense Point One is easily the best football boot on this list, but it's one that ultimately I can't recommend and don't think is all that great when compared to all your other options in this category. Now the Copa line is about providing a kangaroo leather touch on the ball and you do get some kangaroo leather with the fusion skin upper found on the Copa Sense Point One. However, it's literally just through the toe box area. Everything else is kind of like a textile based synthetic material that's quite thin, kind of on the stiffer side and ultimately doesn't feel all that premium. And then you have the SensePod system through the heel, which I just think doesn't feel very good. Everyone has their personal preferences as far as comfort is concerned, but I think most people would agree, having tried these on versus all of the Copa Sense Point One's competitors, that these are the least comfortable and the most likely to cause blisters, not to mention the boots are heavier than the competition, and the sole plate in general is arguably just bulkier than it needs to be. For $225, you would be much better off going for something like a Puma King Platinum, even the Nike Tiempo Legend 8 Elite. And if you wanna spend a little bit more, pretty much anything leather from the Mizuno brand is just gonna be a much better football boot than this if you're after a pair of leather football boots. The Nike Mercurial Vapor 14 and Superfly 8 Academy. Again, not a terrible pair of football boots, but a pair of football boots that ultimately is as popular as it is purely based on marketing. This is the most popular takedown model on the market. Nike sells a ton of these year after year and people just buy them because they look like Mercurials. And admittedly, this is one of the better variants of an Academy tier Mercurial that we've had over the last couple generations. And again, the boots are far from unwearable, but if you're spending between 80 and $90 on a pair of football boots, because I think most people are definitely buying these at full retail price, you simply have better options in something like a takedown model Puma Ultra, the 2.2, is an incredible pair of football boots, not to mention it's lighter. It offers traction that is arguably even more aggressive and it's a football boot with a more premium upper that you can get on sale for even less than an Academy tier Mercurial. I think a lot of people buy this with the expectation that it's gonna feel something like the top end models that all of your favorite players wear, but the reality is that the Academy tier Mercurial has almost nothing in common with the top end model. If you absolutely must have a Mercurial football boot and can't afford the top model, I would definitely recommend saving a little bit or spending a little bit more on the pro tier option, whether it's the Vapor or the Superfly, because at the very least with that football boot you're getting something with an upper that is at least similar to that of the top end model and ultimately a football boot that just feels significantly more premium than this this is a fine football boot but it's very very basic and honestly not as good as the hype would suggest 
The Adidas Nemesis Plus is a $275 football boot that nobody should be spending $275 on. If you can get them for half price, then I suppose they might be worth it if you're curious about the feel of this boot, but ultimately the feel is about as lackluster as it gets, especially for a pair of laceless boots, of which this is definitely the worst one that Adidas has on offer. Coming from a brand that's actually made some pretty good strides in the laceless football boot category over the last year or so, where I think the X Ghosted Plus, the Predator Freak Plus, and even the Copa Sense Plus all have really great fit and lockdown to them, where this is a football boot that ultimately, and ironically with its tension tape upper, doesn't provide much in the way of tension across the top of the foot, leaving your heel to slip, and honestly giving the boot a much sloppier feel than it should have, especially considering its top end price point. I think as alternatives go, you'd be much better off with the Lace Nemesis Point 1. It features the same upper, but with the addition of a lacing system and a low cut design that fits so much better and performs way better as well. It's a football boot that actually makes sense. And if you're just after something that has a knitted or textile based upper, something like a Puma Future Z 1.1 would be an excellent choice. New Balance Furon 6 Plus, I think is another excellent football boot for the money. And then finally, even something like the Nike Phantom GT would be a much better alternative to something like this. The New Balance Tequila V3 Pro is everything wrong with the football boot industry. New Balance, a brand that has kind of struggled to break into the football boot market, went out and decided to follow the trend of laceless boots in creating this new variation of the Tequila that features a knitted upper with some 3D texturing that feels extremely stiff, extremely rigid, and not sock-like at all. They went with a knitted laceless system that provides little to no tension, and when paired with the shape of the upper, it provides fit and lockdown that is simply subpar for a top-end football boot at the $220 price point. They're not comfortable, and while the sole plate end stud pattern is decent, it's not enough to save the disaster that is the upper of this football boot. With the Tequila, I just don't think it's one of those boots that I can recommend even at half price, unlike the Nemesis Plus, because they're football boots that simply do not feel good. This is literally buy anything else, and trust me, you'll be much better off. And finally, the number one football boot that you should not buy is not a top end Nike Mercurial. It is a counterfeit Nike Mercurial, not just the Mercurial, but any counterfeit football boot, AKA fake, AKA replica, AKA economical version. There's so many different names for these that you're gonna find on a variety of different sketchy websites or eBay or pretty much anywhere that resells football boots. Counterfeit football boots are simply designed to look like the real thing, but offer none of the performance benefits or even durability. And while you're picking up what is seemingly a top end mercurial boot that would normally retail for $250 for 80 bucks, you're thinking you're getting a great deal. You're getting a pair of football boots that are going to fall apart very, very quickly and simply aren't made to actually be played in. You should avoid counterfeit football boots at all costs. And as much as I don't recommend the takedown model Academy tier mercurials, those would be significantly better to play in than this counterfeit top end mercurial that I'm holding here in my hands. They fold in half like a banana. A football boot is not supposed to do that. And like I've talked about so many times on this channel before, please do not buy counterfeit football boots. And there you have it folks, the football boots you should not buy and why you should not buy them. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have you had any negative experiences with your football boots at which point you wouldn't recommend them? Let me know your thoughts on all of that down below in the comment section. As always, if you have any questions regarding anything that I talked about in this video, feel free to leave those questions down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. You can find all my social media information linked to down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.